I apologize for the little delay. The hearing will come to order. This is the annual hearing on the budget of the uh, Department of Housing and Urban Development, and specifically on the budget that was submitted. Uh, we will later this week be voting on a somewhat different version, but uh, this is our chance to talk about it with the Secretary. Secretary, welcome. Thank you for accommodating our schedule. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I uh, want to begin by saying that the budget that the President submitted is not disappointing because I had no expectations, but it is seriously inadequate to the job that this country faces, particularly in light of the subprime crisis. Now, let me say, Mr. Secretary, we will be asking you about the budget, and you are a oil member of this administration, and uh, I do not expect you to share your innermost thoughts, and indeed it would be inappropriate. You are a member of the administration, and I understand your obligations. Um, it is not my impression that this is a budget that reflects what the people who have operating responsibilities of HUD would have liked. Um, and so when I talk about its severe shortcomings, I uh, really am describing, I believe, decisions made elsewhere. But we need to talk about the consequences. Uh, the cutbacks that we see in programs like Community Development Block Grant would have been distressing in any period. They're especially distressing this year when we have, at the city level in particular, the consequences of the subprime crisis and the foreclosures. Uh, I will be speaking later to the National League of Cities, and I will be expressing my sympathy for the problems not of their making, which have landed in their laps. One of the problems they have now is a good deal of foreclosed property, uh, property that used to pay taxes, now not only does not pay taxes, but consume services, police services, fire services, building inspection services. To propose reductions in community development block grant funding in the face of this is a stark an abdication of what the federal government's responsibility ought to be to our partners in governance at the local level, as I could imagine. There are also reductions proposed for the construction of housing for the elderly, for the disabled. Uh, these are grave errors in my judgment. Uh, one of the things we learned, I believe, from the subprime crisis is that a shortage of affordable rental housing has consequences beyond simply the denial of opportunity for people to live good lives, but there was a push factor into this housing situation. Basically, we have a national policy that has decided to fund a war in Iraq, a very expensive war, which I thought mistaken from the outset, by substantial reductions in other programs. And one of the jobs of this committee is to help show the consequences of those cuts. I will also be talking to you, Mr. Secretary, about a very specific issue, and that's the situation in Mississippi where money that this committee initiated uh, in a collaboration between our colleague North Carolina, Mr. Watt, and our former colleague from Louisiana, Mr. Baker, uh, they took the lead in trying to put some money to alleviate the plight of people, particularly lower income people who were hurt by the Gulf uh, in Mississippi. That has not worked out as we thought, but I understand that there may be, frankly, some flaws in the way we did that legislatively. And I will be looking to you to see that we, assuming some disasters will come again, that we legislate better for it. But the basic point of this statement is to say that in the current situation with urban America in a difficult situation. With urban America bearing the brunt of the national crisis, it really is outrageous that the administration to fund its war in Iraq comes forward with a budget that so substantially underfunds these important urban initiatives. Finally, let me say, and I, I'm glad the, the whole team is here, there are some areas of agreement, and uh, at 5 o'clock today, the Ranking member and I will be once again going over to the Senate to
to see if we can work out an FHA bill. We are hoping that we can do that. Uh, the commissioner is here. Uh, that's a collaborative effort that I hope will go forward. But we cannot, in this hearing, focus on other things to the exclusion of our deep unhappiness. Uh, I would just summarize. To cut community development block grants, which has been such an important program dating from the days of Richard Nixon, that provides such important support to the cities when they are under the extreme stress brought about by the subprime crisis, is one of the most blatantly uncompassionate examples of public policy imaginable. And uh, the one thing that gives me some solace is that it is clear to me that that will be ignored by the Budget Committee, it will be ignored by the Appropriations Committee, and I think we can confidently predict that uh, in an overwhelmingly bipartisan way, the Appropriations Committee will ignore this budget to a great extent, and I doubt very much when it comes to the floor with the President's priorities repudiated that there will be any substantial Republican effort to restore them. The General from Alabama.